All right, it's uh, Sunday morning. What's the date? September the 8th. This is uh, day one of week nine, which is entering the halfway point of my marathon training. So today's cross training day, so I'm going to ride my bike. <clears throat> I'm going to do, uh, do some trails instead of my road bike. Um, I haven't done that in quite a while. So I'm looking forward to it. Uh, it's another beautiful morning. It's going to be hot today. It's going to be like 93. <clears throat> but this morning it's um, <clears throat> sudden that it's like 70 degrees or something like that. So I'm gonna get out uh, before it, before it heats up. I'm not gonna ride for long. Just gonna try to loosen up the legs a little bit. A little stiff. Got a little tightness in my in my Achilles this morning. That's a common area for me to struggle with. I, I don't know why. It just always gets super tight. But uh, but other than that, I feel great after my 15 miles yesterday. <laughs> Uh, you know, relatively speaking. So, I'm going to get this ride in, try to loosen up, and then uh, get on about some uh, family activities for the afternoon. I've been back on the trails in forever and uh, it was a beautiful morning for it um, I just had a great time so, uh, met a random dude out there and rode with him for a couple loops so uh, didn't do much did about a little over five miles I guess um, took it easy for the most part but uh, great time so I'm gonna go see what the family's up to and uh, get on about our Sunday afternoon. I think we're meeting some friends for lunch and uh, maybe watch the football and hang out. And uh, then I'll rest tomorrow and get back at it on Tuesday. It's Tuesday morning, September the 10th. Really hot outside this morning, 6 a.m. It's like uh, 75 degrees. Humidity's working overtime this morning. Crazy, I mean it's like 94% humidity. Uh, I only have to do four miles, so it shouldn't be too bad, but it's not going to be that fun. Um, tomorrow i got to do seven miles, and I don't think the weather's supposed to be a whole lot different. So i um, praying for a, for a miracle change overnight. Um, I don't do well running in, in the heat and humidity. I'm, I'm much better when it's cooler. Uh, definitely prefer to run when it's downright cold as opposed to just hot like this. Yeah, it, it kills me. So... But uh, we're going to knock it out anyway. That's, that's the way this thing works, right? You don't get to pick the days you run. You don't get to pick when you feel good. If you get up, you stick to the plan. You put one foot in front of another. So uh, that's exactly what we're going to do this morning. So let's hop to it. Tight. 
this morning. My breathing's already up. My legs hurt. I'm sure they'll loosen up the first mile here, but so far not looking too great. Kills me though. Legs are loose. Turning off three right now. Should have known. I got a brief break from it for like a week. And uh, now I'm packing full force. So hopefully, just another week or two of this part. I'm sure it does make running. Like I said early on, my legs were tight. My breathing got up, and I did something like about mile one, one and a quarter, something like that. Felt pretty good the rest of the way around. I think I ran right about my target pace, somewhere between 9.30 and 9.45. As I said, at the end of my long run on Saturday, 10 miles is, I think, too slow for me. Um, not saying I won't ever run it. I, there's going to be days when I need it. And there may be time periods during the run where I need it, but I'm always going to target 9.30 to 9.45 for marathon distance. I believe, at least for today. All right, so we got it done. One more day down. I'm in the halfway point, or at least the halfway week of my marathon training. Week nine of 18. And uh, starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. So we're getting it done day by day. All right, it's uh, Wednesday morning, September the 11th. Obviously a very historic day in the United States a day of remembrance so got to do seven miles today and as expected it's very hot and very humid 74 degrees and about 93 percent humidity it's a very hazy day if you take a look around um, very hazy skies We're going to take this uh, run one step at a time because it's going to be hot and it's going to be sticky and, uh, and sweaty and all of that. But I slept in a little bit. I'm going to be running in daylight this morning, which will be a change for me. I didn't have my first meeting at work until 10 this morning, so I'm going to take advantage of that and, and, uh, and try to run a little bit later this morning. I, I seem to do a little better when I run in daylight. It's just mental for me. I don't know. So, uh, I'm going to stretch and, and we're going to get to it. So, in, uh, in true 911 style, let's roll. Alright. Coming up on my five. I'm hurting. This heat and humidity is insane. I mean, I'm drenched. Can't get my heart rate down. But I got the downhill stretch coming, so let's roll. Ah. That especially sucked. My socks are sloshy. My shorts feel like I just got out of a swimming pool. 
We've got chafing in some really unfortunate spots. I hate this humidity, man. I got it done. Not gonna lie, I had to walk a little bit on mile seven. Um, but that's okay. On a day like today, I'll take it. This is probably about the worst weather I've run in during my entire training. So, uh, I'm just glad to have gotten it done. And uh, it's gonna take me a little while to cool off here. So tomorrow morning I got four miles. Uh, and I think the weather's supposed to be a little bit cooler, so. All right, I'm gonna get on inside. It's Thursday, September the 12th. It's uh, again a little bit later than I normally run. Got some daylight coming in. Weather's a hair cooler than uh, yesterday, so I'm hoping for a little better conditions this morning. Only got to do four miles, so I ought to be able to suffer through that either way. So I'm going to hop to it. Run feels a lot better this morning. A lot looser. Heart rate's a lot lower. So, feeling very good compared to yesterday. Almost makes running fun again. All right, that run actually felt pretty darn good. Felt pretty good the whole way around. The weather was a little better than yesterday, but honestly, not a ton better. Um, so, maybe I just more rested, I don't know. I don't understand these things. Some days I run and it feels easy, some days I run like yesterday and it feels like I'm trying to deliver a baby or something, I don't know. But, I'm thankful for the uh, good days. Certainly gets my confidence back up. I was feeling a little uh, less than confident yesterday, but back in the saddle. So I'm gonna cool off, go in, shower up. Head into work and make some magic happen there. All right, it's new shoe time. I noticed on my, uh, noticed my knee started hurting and uh, looked in my, my Garmin app and noticed I had over 500 miles on my whole pair of shoes. So I picked up some new shoes today. Uh, I've been running on these New Balance. They're uh, 880s, uh, 880 V9, I think. Uh, kind of hard to see there. Let's see. Yeah, so these are the 880 V9s. Um, it's a really good shoe for me. It uh, <clears throat> kind of ticks all the right boxes. I, I was having some knee pain. And... Um, as well as some hill pain and this this seems to have solved almost all of that i'm also going with these um these super feet inserts Let's see if i can get a good view of them here kind of hard to see there because i've already inserted them but uh but these inserts they have a nice hill cup in the back um which uh which has really helped quite a bit and uh and then there's actually a cup that sits up under the insert um back here uh, which really cups your hill, gives you a lot of nice support. So, um, been really pleased with these. So tomorrow morning I've got to run. Uh, I, I signed up for the Hit the Bricks 10K and the Hit the Bricks 5K uptown in uptown Charlotte. The uh, the marathon training program calls for 13.1 miles. So I'll just stay up there after I do both of those uh, back to back, and then I'll run another four miles. So. I just wanted to make sure I got shoes and plenty of time before the marathon so that I could break them in. Sometimes the, the last pair of new shoes I got uh, was giving me a little bit of pain in the shins um, for the first, I don't know, three or four days. So I just wanted to go ahead and get these nice and broken in. But once they break in, they feel really good to me. So uh, prior, to, prior to running on New Balance, I was running in Brooks um, Ghost 10s or Ghost whatever's. Um, and, and they were they were good and they were comfortable, but I was getting a lot of knee pain, and I went and actually got fitted at uh, one of my local shoe stores, and they explained to me that the Brooks just weren't going to work for me. The 
the hill area was actually too wide, which is probably causing some hill slippage. Um, and my gait, they actually, you know, I, I, I kind of, I'm a little bit bow-legged, so I wear, um, I'll show you here, I kind of wear the, uh, the outer edges of my shoes down a little bit, and these are already naturally cut to kind of slope up this way. Um, so, so these work for me. Uh, they're great. So I've already tried them on. They, they feel pretty good. Gonna do, gonna do this race in the morning and uh, let's see how it goes. Hopefully we have a uh, good experience with them. All right, it's about uh, 6.30 in the morning on a Saturday. What's today's date? Like the 14th, I think. Don't hold me to that, certainly. So uh, Saturday morning about 6.30. Getting ready to head uptown for the Hit the Bricks 10K, then I'll do the 5K immediately following, and then I've got like a four-mile route uptown that I'm gonna that I'm gonna ride after I'm done to get in my my full 13.1 for my marathon training. So um, see how it goes. It's it's a little warm, uh, a little muggy this morning, so uh, I'm just gonna take it easy. I'm not gonna I'm gonna try to take it easy. You know how it is, you get in those races and everybody else is moving pretty quick. It's uh, You end up kind of trying to stay with the flow. But anyway, let's, uh, let's head up there and see what happens. Go hit the bricks. figure this out. This humidity is killing me, man. Uh, probably TMI there. It's all right. But a good time. It's a good event. But, uh, all right, I'm going to gonna unload some of this stuff, get this nifty little metal off here, and uh, drink some water, head out and do another four and a half miles. good today actually feeling uh, pretty optimistic now feeling a lot better about my runs about my pace all day today I stayed in 930 below uh, somewhere in that range I'm guessing maybe maybe a little bit of 930 but anyway felt great uh, despite the heat and humidity despite the massive chafing of my nethers uh, other than that I feel great I'm gonna uh, pack it in now Go hang out with the family for the rest of the day. Because that's the good stuff. <laughs> 